Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss differences between stress and strain. So, the very first difference, stress is defined as resisting force per unit area. So, here you can see a body in blue color. We are applying a force over it. And the body will resist that force by the reaction force. So, the stress is defined as the resisting force per unit area. Now, strain. Strain is defined as deformation per unit area. Now here you can see a body in yellow color. Now the original length of this body is L. We are applying a force over it due to which its length is changed by delta. So the strain is defined as this deformation per unit area. Now the second difference, the ratio of resisting force or applied force to the cross section area of the body is called as stress. So, the stress is nothing but the ratio of applied force or the resisting force. Here applied force and resisting force that is equal to the cross section area of that body because we are applying a force perpendicular to the cross section. So, the ratio of applied force or the reaction force to the cross section is called as stress. Now, strength. The ratio of change in dimension of the body to the original dimension is called as strain. So here up, after application of force, the length is changed by delta. So delta divided by original length is called as strain. Next difference, stress is denoted by Greek symbol sigma. So we are denoting the stress by the Greek symbol that is sigma. Whereas strain, strain is denoted by the symbol E. So this is the symbol which is used for denoting strain. Next difference, the formula of stress is given by, the formula is sigma equal to the reaction force divided by cross section. So sigma equal to P by A. This is the formula for calculating strain, sorry stress. Now strain, the formula for strain is given by E equal to delta L divided by L. So delta L that is nothing but change in length in the body and L is original length of that body. Next, the unit of stress is Newton per meter square or Newton per mm square. So the formula is load upon area. So for load we have a unit that is Newton and for cross section we have a unit that is meter square or mm square. So the formula become Newton per meter square or Newton per mm square for the stress. Now the formula for strain is, so there is no formula for the strain because the, uh, sorry, uh, there is no unit for the strain because the formula is delta L upon L, change in length that is in mm, original length that is in mm, so mm mm will get cancelled. So strain is the unitless quantity. Next difference, stress can exist without strain. So there is a possibility that the body, the, the, there is a stress inside the body, but there is no strain due to that stress. Okay, because after application of the force, if the body is again regain its original shape, so there will be no strain. But there is a possibility that the body is stressed. Strain, strain cannot exist without stress. So there will be no strain without stress. So after application of the force, there will be a stresses inside the body and due to those stresses, there will be a change in length and that causes strain. So strain cannot exist without stress. Then the various type of stresses are tensile stress, compressive stress and shear stress. So here you can see the various type of stresses. So whenever uh, we apply a force that is opposite in direction and perpendicular to face of that body. Such type of force is known as tensile force. Whenever we apply a force which is uh, towards each other and perpendicular to each other, sorry, uh, and they are uh, a pull kind of force we can say. So this is an example of compressive stress and this is an example of shear stress. So the two forces they are parallel to each other and they are acting on two different faces. So these are three different type of stresses. Now strain. So due to these stresses the strain creates. So the various type of strain are 
tensile strength, compressive strength, shear strength and volumetric strength. So this is the difference in between stress and strength.